The redemptive work of God does not just is not just limited to man. Now, man became the center of it because man is critical in God's agenda. Because I want to show you when the man becomes justified, when the man becomes sanctified, when the man becomes consecrated, a kind of man emerges. And the kind of man that we emerge, according to the counsel of God of old, is the man that God can anoint. Because when that man emerges, whatever God gives him will be used for God, not for himself. He's a man that will carry such a tremendous power, but he will use it at the will of the one that gave it to him. So that he has power to destroy. But if the one that calls him say, don't destroy, he won't. He has the power to heal. And if God is saying, okay, we are not healing this one. It is our will that this one should go that way. And we say, Lord, I submit to your will. Even when I don't understand, let your will. The thing is not about him, it's about who. And that was the kind, that's the kind of man God wants to anoint. Any anointing you arrive at, without arriving at this dimension, that anointing will make you a Lucifer eventually. Because you will use that anointing against God. Instead of building a kingdom for God, you will build a throne for yourself. You will build a throne for yourself in the heart of the people. And actually where God wants to dwell in the heart of the people. Can I say this to you? When they begin to praise you more than they praise Jesus, you are running a court, not a church.